Can I help you? I'm, I'm Anton Nuttall from the city. I'm staying up at the, the winery. Um, my sister, she used to work there a few years ago, and she told me I should visit the Sappletons. Please, come in, Mr. Nuttall. I'll tell my aunt you're here. Okay. Be right back. All right, thank you. My aunt will be down soon, Mr. Nuttall. You have to put up with me in the meantime. So is this your... Do you know how many people around here, Mr. Uh, Nuttall? No, not a soul, actually. I just came out here to get away from the city. Then you know practically nothing about my aunt. Just a name and an address. Her great tragedy happened three years ago. But I guess it would be since your sister was here. Tragedy? You might be wondering why those doors are open on a winter day. It is pretty warm today. Um. Three years ago, her husband and her two brothers went out to go hunt quail through those doors. Crossing the meadow to their favorite spot, they were presumably sucked up by the treacherous bog. It had been an especially wet year. Places that had been safe in other years gave way suddenly without warning. They never came back. The worst part is their bodies are never found. My poor aunt, she always thinks they're gonna come back someday, along with that spaniel of theirs and just walk in through the doors. That's why she demands that the doors are open till dusk. Sometimes I even get this creepy feeling. They're just gonna walk in, just like they used to. Hello, Mr. Nuttall. I hope Vera has been amusing you. She's been very interesting. Could you bring the coffee, Vera? Please, come in and sit down. I hope you don't mind the open doors. My husband and brothers will be coming home soon from hunting. I'm sure they'll make a mess of the floors. Mr. Nuttall will be staying at the winery. He's resting from the stresses of the city. Oh, well, it's a great place for that. Just don't overindulge. Yes, I, I've already decided to limit myself to, to one glass with dinner. I, I come here to get well, not pick up any unhealthy habits. Well, when my husband returns, you might have a hard time refusing a glass of brandy. Well, yes. A little brandy might do me well, actually. Well, here they are at last. And just in time to meet Mr. Nuttall. We're home. Who was that fellow who just ran out of here? <laughs> a very strange man, a Mr. Nuttall. He could only talk about his condition. And then he dashed off without a goodbye or an apology. One would almost think he'd seen a ghost. I think it was the dog. He told me that he had a fear of dogs and he was chased in the cemetery once by this pack of wild dogs. And he had to spend the night in a newly dug grave with the dogs snarling above him. I mean, that's enough to make anyone lose their nerve, I would think.